Hey everyone, today I'm helping you prep for moving. From finding your apartment, signing your lease, to actually moving in, here's what you're gonna need to do. Read the fine print before signing your lease. Too often, people will just sign their names at the bottom because they wanna get in. Take a second and do it. Trust me, you're only doing yourself a favor. You're also gonna to wanna to find out whether your landlord lives nearby. This is important in case of an emergency or any issues that may arise, knowing that they're nearby is a huge relief. It's a good thing, so double check to see whether they are. When it comes to clauses in your lease, there are three things that you should be looking for. Your subletting agreements, pet provisions, and any other requirements like quiet hours. If you aren't sure whether you're gonna be in for the full amount of time, you'll wanna clarify the subletting agreement to know whether or not you've committed yourself to that space or whether you're able to let somebody else take that over halfway through. Another really important thing is never send your landlord any money before signing a contract. If they're asking for a deposit, that's okay after you've signed that agreement. Do not send them anything beforehand. It's probably a scam. When you visit the apartment, be sure to document any issues like nicks in the wall, worn out carpets, anything like that that your landlord might get angry about in the future, you'll want to make sure that they are aware of before you move in. Most landlords or management buildings have a checklist that they'll go through beforehand, but for your sake, it might be beneficial to take some photos when you move in. If you're still concerned about your lease, the last thing you can do is take it to a lawyer. If this is your first time moving out or you're going away for university or something like that, you probably have one provided to you by that institution at no charge. Just check with your student union, a lot of them have them, and who knows, it might save you a headache down the road. The last thing you could do yourself a favor with is including a severability clause into your lease agreement. All legal mumbo jumbo aside, it basically just means that if something in that contract becomes illegal because laws change or unenforceable, that provision can be taken out of the contract without the entire thing falling apart. It gives you some flexibility and a little bit of time in case anything goes wrong. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications and I'll see you next time. Happy moving! Please watch the next video already. <laughs> Just click. I'm so done. Are you ready? And key change! Nailed it! Yes!